That's why I have butter is gold uh, because yeah. butter, fatty meat, and all the fat is really important because that's what keeps you satiated. Yeah, absolutely. And your body, your body chases nutrients more than it chases calories. And uh, you know, fat is is not just a calorie source. You know, it, it is an essential nutrient. There are essential fatty acids that you have to have that you cannot get from anything except animal sources, and they come with a lot of fat soluble vitamins that you know that you do need that are essential. When you're getting that high quality nutrition, you know, you will be satiated for longer because your, your body has those nutrients. And so you stay, you stay uh, more satiated with better energy levels longer. It's difficult to eat too much fat, A, from, from taste, things would just not start, it'll start not tasting as good. But also you have a, a sort of an overflow valve for fat anyway, because our body has a limited capacity for absorbing fat. So we make bile from our liver that's stored in our gallbladder, released into our intestine, uh, small intestine. And that is what emulsifies fat and allows us to absorb it. You, you have a finite amount of bile. It's, it's not made very quickly. You know, it takes 24 hours to make around 800 milliliters of, of bile. And after that, you're, you're, you're out, you know, you, you run out. And so once you've run out, you're, it's very difficult for your body to absorb fat. It can, it can do a little bit. It can, you know, especially like medium chain fatty acids can get a bit of those, but it's actually a very, very small percentage of the fat can be absorbed without bile. So the vast majority of that will go out. And so the only way you could really overeat fat is, well, you can overeat fat in the sense you eat more fat than your body can absorb, but you're not going to absorb it really. So it's very hard to over absorb fat. Most people drink coffee and most people keep drinking coffee when they go carnivore and coffee is a laxative. And when you don't have this just ton of fiber blocking the pipes, you know, uh, it, it's it, that laxative effect is, is much more dramatic and mo more noticeable. And so maybe you're drinking the same amount of coffee, but now you're getting diarrhea, right? Also, artificial sweeteners, you know, even, you know, like, especially like the you know, sucralose and the different sort of sugar alcohols, those are definitely laxatives, but you know, even stevia among fruit sweetener, they could, they could act in that way as well. So, those are those generally need to be taken out but some people say well they're not carbs so that's okay on a carnivore diet it's like well it's not meat and you know it's not it's not animal so you know i wouldn't i, I still wouldn't eat it and it can act as a laxative and uh and so can coffee so i would eliminate those two first but if they're only on meat and only on water right or or bbe strict not having anything else um you know the beef butter eggs uh beef butter bacon and eggs uh that that dr barry does um, and they're only doing that, uh, nothing else, then yes, I would say that, you know, they're just, you can just pull back on, on the fat. You just don't need to eat as much fat.